to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Amen. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Y'all may be seated. We're going to close up here in just a second. God had a plan for us way before us. Make no mistake of that. In Genesis, when the creation of all the things were happening, God had a plan. He still has that plan. And what he says he's going to do, as we've witnessed in past, he does. Amen. And he will. So we don't have to worry about, is God going to do what he says? Just do like this. All right? Because absolutely he is. He's not going to forget about it. You know, this morning, I want to say the same thing that came up last night. You see a lot of people that get invitation confused. They don't understand why do you come up, why do you come up and pray with somebody? And a lot of times it's because you're not really sure what to say. You know what the problem is in your life. You're not really sure how to address it. And sometimes you just need that encouragement for somebody to just strike off the conversation. And guess what? It's, it's an icebreaker, right? It, it, it separates the, the fear factor you have. You should always have a solid fear of the Lord, but the fear to bring things before him, it takes that fear away from you. It allows you to talk to him the way you have to be, openly, honestly. And so coming before, it has nothing to do with me. You do not need me or anybody else, quite frankly, to stand up here and intercede for you and God. Right. God is quite able to do that with me in another building somewhere, okay? God's got this. But why do we do it? And the Bible says that if you acknowledge him before men, he will acknowledge you before his Father in heaven. Amen. If you don't acknowledge him in front of men, he will not acknowledge you in heaven before his Father. Now, I don't know about you, but that right there puts fear in me. That tells me that I, even if it's today for the very first time, would like to start doing some acknowledgement. And so if you're in that boat as well, you've got something that you're not really sure how to kick it off. Come up here. I want to invite you to do that. Because the worst thing that you can do is never address it. That's the worst thing you can do. Because it just becomes deeper and deeper and deeper. But God has the ability, if you trust him, to pull it out from the deepest of depths and remove it from your life. And I want to invite you to come and just acknowledge him this morning. Amen.